Hello, this is Tommy from Harness Tech with our second video tutorial. Our second video tutorial is going to be on copying a DVD or a CD with only one DVD or CD drive in your computer. Um, you know, normally with the, the easiest way to do it with a desktop computer when you have two drives is you put one in the top, one on the bottom, and it goes one to the other. Uh, but when you have one drive, there is a middle step you have to do, um, which I'm going to show you. Now, first things first, this uh, tutorial will not cover copying uh, movies from Blockbuster or Netflix. Um, there's a way to do that, but I'm not getting into it. Um, this will work on movies and videos as long as you burn themselves so they just are older and don't have the security. Um, so, we can jump right into it and jump onto my computer. Now... On my computer, um, you're gonna need, I'm going to open up the internet, um, and we're going to go get a program called ImageBurn. Um, that's I-M-G-B-U-R-N. So if you just Google that, actually, the first result will be the official ImageBurn website, you click, which is www.imgburn.com. Now, a lot of times when you're on the internet and you go and download stuff, you're going to see a lot of download, free download, download, uh, download. Those are not the program we want. Those are advertisements that make these companies that have free software exist. Um, but on this website, scroll down um, to right here, and you'll see click here to download the new version that was released. Now on this web page, you're going to see a lot of mirrors. You can download it from anyone, but the easiest will be the one from this website, ImageBurn. So click Mirror 7. That will launch a download. Now in IE9, it will look like this. In different web browsers, you're going to have different ones. You can save it. Let's just save it to the desktop. Um, so click there. Click on the desktop. Hit save. Let's watch it. Let's see how long it takes. It's going to take about one minute. Um, now, this program is actually really good at burning things and copying things. Um, it's, it's, it's a pretty awesome program, and it's for free. Uh, there's a lot of programs out there that do the same functionality as this one, but cost money. Uh, so, I highly recommend this one, as everything I try to do is free. Um, so, we'll wait 28 more seconds. Um, now, a couple things to go over while this is downloading is... Um, if you have a, there's a couple of different types of uh, DVDs and CDs. There are what's called data DVDs, which are like a DVD that contains Excel files, Word files, PowerPoint files, and stuff like that, or pictures, um, and the same goes with the data CD. Um, now, those are somewhat easy to copy in a different method, but this will work, this method I'm showing you works with all um, methods. So, hit run. And it launches the installer. Hit next. I accept. Next. Next. Now, when you install stuff off the internet, also watch for the checkbox that's asking you to install a toolbar and things like that. We don't want to install no toolbar right here. So I don't want the ask toolbar. Bam. If you just follow, hit next bunch of times, you're going to always be loaded up with a bunch of toolbars, which end up slowing down your computer. Um, would you like him to bring periodically check for new versions? Sure. Close the website that pops up, and we're going to hit run image burn. Now this program, it's very simple. It's got nice graphics here. What you're going to do is create an image file from a disk. Um, now that's, so click that, and choose the CD drive. Um, destination. Now that's basically the only step you need to change here. So we're going to put this on the desktop called test DVD file. Now, image files on disks generally are .iso files, like a word file is .doc. Uh, disk image file is .iso. Now, that file is actually one file that contains everything that, all the information that was on that disk. Um, and so those are the files that actually are like a CD, but on the computer. So virtual CD. So we're going to hit save. And we're going to hit this. It shouldn't take too long. It's not, I don't believe, a big disk I'm using. Now, you can burn 
a DVD to a CD as long as it's under 700 megabytes. Um, and you can burn an ISO to a CD even though it came from a DVD. Um, because it's all about size, really. That's the only reason. Uh, so why they put it on TV in the first place, I don't know. Um, same goes with the CD. If you only have the like, DVDs kicking around and you need to copy something, you can use them with a CD. Um, that should work as, as well, just as fine. Um, so, um, while this is going, we can also talk about... Um, okay, part two of this tutorial is going to be on... Say you have a MacBook Air. Well, not a MacBook because I'm not covering Mac, but a Ultrabook, the new laptops that don't have a CD drive. Now, with these computers that do not have a CD drive, um, these .iso files should be your friend because um, say you uh, buy this new cool awesome thing and you want to install it and it comes with a disk. Well, you're like, crap, my computer doesn't have a disk. Um, so, you, what you can do is you can go to another computer and you can create an ISO with this tool, the .iso file. Now, generally they can be pretty big, so you can't like email it to you or something. But uh, you, what you can do is you can put it on a flash drive. Okay. Now, um, move it over. To pull, put it on your flash drive or some sort of way of moving it over, and drag and drop it onto your uh, computer that doesn't have a CD drive. Then, what you need to do is you need to go get a program called Virtual Clone Drive. Now, I can show you where you get that. You just Google Virtual Clone Drive. Actually, at the bottom of the, this website, uh, uh, this YouTube video, I'll put the links for these two files that are easily able to be found. But it's the first result when you search Virtual Clone Drive. This is an awesome company. They make a lot of awesome products. They actually make the product that will rip off the um, security of a movie from like Blockbuster Netflix. That's called any DVD and it costs money, but if you're using it to steal, that's not cool. Uh, you should be using it. The only legal way, I guess, is to uh, rip the security off your movie to back it up so you have a backup. So anyways, you'll download this and then it'll go here. So then you want to choose this one, Virtual Clone Drive Freeware. Hit the arrow down and you're going to run this and install this one. This one, I believe, doesn't have any toolbars to watch out for. Now, once that program's installed, what it is, is on your computer, it's a, it's a virtual CD drive. So, in my computer, it's drive E. Now, I only have one drive, and it's this uh, drive D that I'm making a copy of right now. Um, and this one is fake. Now, with it, now, what you do is you actually load the ISO files into this fake drive, essentially. Now, how you can do that is um, you can go you can go to a couple of ways. The easiest way is um, say you drag and drop the image file to your desktop. You can right click it and you can choose Mount Virtual Clone Drive E. This program, I do believe, uh, might require a restart, but uh, you'll hit Mount Virtual Clone Drive E. Then, it, right when you click that in, it will be as if you inserted your drive, I mean your CD, into your computer drive. Um, so, it will act like it's a normal drive in E. Um, and you'll be able to install things that, uh, just like that. You'll be able to watch a movie uh, if, you put, if you rip the ISO and you mounted it that way. Uh, you'll be able to do lots of different things like that. Um, and that becomes really handy for computers that do not have a CD drive, um, and you get like a printer disk. You know, you can always generally download that software online, but it's also easier just to, to sometimes utilize this functionality if you don't have the drive. Um, so our image file should be almost complete here, 87%. Um, <clears throat> so that's one way to, to work with ISO files. The other thing is um, you burn them to DVDs or CDs. So that I mean that you can mount them or burn them, uh, either one, um, and and that's an awesome way to manage your CDs and DVDs and actually knowing what's going on. Um, so we're at ninety eight percent here, almost done. That was extremely loud. 
Um, now, what you do is you can actually just close that program. Uh, you can open up uh, Image Burn again. I should have closed it. But um, write image file to disk. That's what we're going to actually do next. And you're going to choose a file. You're going to put your new blank DVD in your computer. And you're going to choose that. Um, disk not empty. So it's not letting me burn. But all you'd have to do, you can uncheck verify. Um, unless uh, What that does is it takes longer to burn your disk and checks everything. If it failed, it failed. So you'll find out and then you just burn again. But generally they don't. And you would just put in a disk and then literally just click this button. And it will take about five minutes. And when it's done, you have successfully copied the DVD from one disk to another with only one drive. So that's it. Um, and also I taught you how to um, use ISOs or open up a disk if you only have one, uh, if you have no drives. All right, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, stay tuned. We're going to be posting a lot more videos. So I hope you enjoyed this one.